welcome back at Peter Place. We are playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for liking the videos. And thanks so much for subscribing to the channel. Especially for subscribing. I'm trying to get to 625 subscribers ASAP. Um, so everyone that does subscribe, thank you so very much. Also, thank you so very much for leaving some nice comments down below. That really helps me to make uh, a better gaming experience. As you can see... Well, okay, I'll first show this. This. I'm currently in the depths. I'm looking at this light route that I pinned on a map right there. Uh, and as you can see, Colgera is flying around there. And there is lava. So just to be ahead of the game. How is this actually called? Flame Breaker Helm. Alright. Flame Breaker Armor and Flame Breaker, Flame Breaker Boots. Alright. That's an unscalable cliff all the way to the top of the depths. As is... Oh, is it? It's not. According to the map, it's not. There could be something on top of those cliffs, but I don't think so. Um, Colgera is flying over there. I don't really want that beast um, to be in the way. However, it will cause an updraft, so it might actually be nice. I don't think I can avoid her, can I? Him or her, whatever. And then there is a talus there because... Sherfin's Lava Fall. So as you can see, unbearable heat. And apparently I can avoid Colgera because I am avoiding Colgera. Um, can I also avoid the talus? Probably not. So, um, question. Ooh, uh, right, that was a massive hit. Um, so, question. Can I? Is it worth my while to fight you? Huh? You know? That's a miss. No. Oh, right. So that that can happen. Uh, so this isn't going my way. Do I have do I have food actually? First of all, that might be a good idea. That, ah. <laughs> what actually happens if you dazzle? <laughs> That's actually a pretty strong talus, because I've been hitting that thing. Wait, let's check, actually. Bows. How many bows do I have, huh? Ooh, they're not good. They're not good. Um... I go all the way to the edge here do I get my uh no I don't there we go Alright, 
so um, two of them is a bit much. All right, stone talus. There we go. So can I get a little bit of updraft here? Why am I doing this? There was an updraft. The other thing that I could potentially do, obviously. Is I could, um... I can't see what the fused power looks like. Huh? What happens if I merge a Gibdo bone? Of course. Um, how wonderful. Alright, so let's equip this again. So a Gibdo bone was pretty powerful, but this doesn't work. How about Ancient Blade? How about I, I, I've never used you. Is this, is this the right time to use you? What else can I use that maybe has like lots of fuse power? Uh, what has lots of fuse power? Well, I give the bone. Let's try this. Tolin, you're in my way. I can't see. Let's let's do the ancient blade and see what happens. If it's like Breath of the Wild. It's not a lot, is it? And then obviously you can't press X again because that would be too easy, right? me that's good oh come on so let's go into my inventory all right so every other bow is broken so let's use this one excuse me my spied bokobo is badly damaged Oh, that's also an actually an idea that I could do. Uh, let's actually do that. So, word to the wise, I definitely need bows. So let's jump off this cliff and then glide back. There we go. Actually, I'm out of the hot zone, so I can wear the attack up. Oh, come on.
that's one of them down. So apparently you can stand on these things. All right. Interesting. So we've got a bunch of uh, these things. All right. So then let's go into my inventory. Get any nice weapon that I have nothing fused to. Which would be... This. Ooh, another sapphire. And a flint. I don't know how many arrows I have. So actually, does it does it merit going after Colgara? Because there's nothing I can fuse it to, right? So um, let's maybe do something else before we forget. I got my my yeah I got. I got kicked in the, you know what, by a talus. So let's go into my inventory. Let's bring out five of them. There we go. Perfect. Well, I did that, but maybe I can already use. So I'm pretty high up now. So I can probably use this to break free of Golgara and just glide to my light route. <laughs> Look at that, I can just, I can just, that, that's smart, so let's do that first. So we know what we're up against, alright. Examine this. Alright, so that arena down there is where Colgera's at, that's cool. Um... Interesting. So let's go into the uh, inventory again. I'm not going to eat that, but I can eat this. So I think for now I'm going to eat this. And then I'm going to supplement with some of uh, the stuff in here. So how many, uh, sixty-four? My spike. Ah, my bows are badly damaged. Hmm. So I might not be able then. I need better bows for this. All right, I need better bows for this. Um. That's that's uh. That's a shame. So if I go into the inventory, my bow inventory looks really bad. All my bows are blinking red. So this is not a fight for now, sadly. Uh, what we can do, however, 
once I'm up here though. Uh, let me check the map. Put a pin there as well. So there are one, two, three shrines that I have uh, marked now that I could try and go to. And there is a Skyview Tower right there. So let's do that for now. And then hopefully one of these treasures or somehow I can land my hands on a bow. So let's travel out of the depths for now. We know well where Colgera can be found at. That's actually already the third spot where I uh, run into it, him, her, whatever. Um, maybe Colgera is gender fluid. Who knows? Uh, so let's go to the Skyview Tower. Am I in cold weather here? I am. Let's quickly get in. Out of the uh, thing we fly. Ooh. Let me quickly check some. There's a shrine right there that I have, so probably that means not that much. I'm heat resistant. How fortunate for me. So somewhere down there, oh, there's a shrine right there. You can see it. Boom, it's out in the open. Nothing hidden, nothing special about it. It's just right there. So probably uh, not a blessing. Well, most definitely not a blessing. It's a good thing I've got loads and loads of stamina. So like to me it looks like I'm virtually there. To the map it's still on the edge and it's not closing in. And I'm already... Shrine down below, no way. And then the other thing that I wanted to check though, and I'll do that later, uh, but I'll, I'll, well, I'll do it now. So, um, no, if I go into the depths, then there is the Hebra Dark Skeleton, right? That's there. So that would mean that if the Hebra Skeleton is somewhere near that, so let's, let's actually go up, go to Elden on the map, zoom out. So the Elden Great Skeleton was still where it, where it, is still where it was. Um, the Elden Great Skeleton right there. So there is also an Elden Skeleton in the depths. So let's check that. And it's Elden Dark Skeleton right underneath. So if that is um, consistent, then the Hebra Dark Skeleton sits right on top or underneath of the Hebra Skeleton. So then I'm going to put a pin. Well, let me see. Can I actually? Yeah, so here's the here's the skull. So I'm going to put a pin here. Or something on the map there. And then later, I'm going to look for that. Because that's part of a quest. A side quest to find that skeleton. So here we are. Let's see what we're up against. Hopefully a puzzle. I'm not in for a trial shrine. Because anyway, if I find weapons there, I can't keep them. So that wouldn't profit me anything. It's a puzzle. So hopefully the treasure is a bow. Ooh, look at that. Forward or backward? Alright, so... Alright, so I need to get up there. Obviously, the way to do that would be either to grab one of these balls or to... Uh...
nothing underneath. So what happens if I if I do this? All right. That's not how to do it. So we got a treasure here. Mighty construct bow. What why am I lucky or is this just how the game works? It it Alright, so how do you even say that? Oh your Sipun shrine? Well I have the treasure because the treasure is next to the name, right? So um This is closed. This isn't. Alright, so I have a ball here, I have a button. So, for some reason, I need to get the ball in there. Alright, cool. Oh, wait. I need to get that ball in there. So, what, what happens? So, obviously the thing probably aligns, so if I make it run up, it'll go the other way, but the problem is... If I make it go the... So I can close that. Yeah. But I need that ball in there. So how do I do that? Using the fact that... Ah, obviously I would, I would have to attach it. So... Oops. I can do this. I can drop that in and attach it. Then... Then, how do I... Ah. Wait a sec. I don't need to attach it. I just need to let it go. And then I need to do you. Oh, come on. Start moving, start moving. Alright. Um... So you need to move out of the way. You need to go. So there we go. Boom. Alright, that took a little bit of figuring out. Uh, then... Alright, so what does this profit me? Ah, that will open and are we there then? 
No, not even. All right, so this is a puzzle, and I already have the treasure, so all I need to do is figure that out. All right, so obviously it's too far away from me. So that, that was, at least for me, that was easier and more straightforward. And then we have one more puzzle to fix. All right, so there's a ball here. There's the thing there. All right, so, so I can put it in that scale. That makes sense. So hang on. All right, so that is not meant you cannot manipulate that so that moves over there and then it starts probably to move back yeah but then the problem is ah i already know what i need to do okay 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 so first order of business put it in So you can't do that, but then here, wait a sec, because <laughs> all right, that's not the, uh... huh, I have my rocket shield, so I think I could, I could cheat my way through this thing, as in, um, what I want to do is I want to be able to lift that thing out, right? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't. Wait a sec. That doesn't do it that doesn't do it i thought i could just move it independently from the ball so obviously i need to make that ball move up a little bit when it's there so the thing i could think of is use my rocket shield i think i'm gonna do that wrong button i think i'm gonna do that I'm going to use my rocket shield. Basically land on this. And just lift it out. So this is totally not the way you were intended to do it. I know that. But it works, right? Which is cool though, because if, if like in Breath of the Wild, uh, you didn't have rocket shields, obviously you had Rivali scale. That was one of the champion's abilities and they didn't work in sh inside of shrines and now you have these rocket shields which basically mimic Rivali scale and you can use it inside of a shrine which is pretty pretty cool all right so let's skip that win oh how many a slight of blessing is this actually? second one okay cool Nice. How many shrines did I do? Does it does it show up? 
126. So I, I still got a number of them to do. Okay. But at least we did this one. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's me let me check. So two other shrine locations mapped, and right in between is uh, the. So this is an interesting area to, to uh, scope out or stake out next. Uh, but given that this has already run for more than half an hour. I'm going to end the episode right here. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel and leaving some nice comments down below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.